In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take your laptop screen and extend it out onto an iPad. Now, this iPad is running iOS 17, and that has a nice new feature in it that allows you to take the output from HDMI, feed it through a small capture dongle, which is sat behind here. So we've got the 10 pound capture dongle running into a USB on the go adapter into the USB-C port of the iPad. So you have to have a USB-C port on your iPad, otherwise this won't work. Um, but a lot of them do nowadays. Um, so we'll just move that across. You'll need to run an app. Um, there's a bunch of free ones. I'm using one called Dongled. And when we run that, it simply connects to the uh, HDMI capture device and now the screens are fed through. Now I've got this set to extend the displays so we can open up browser. So we've got one on one display and one window on the other. And you can see me moving about on here. And I can use the browser on the other display independently, which is fantastic for when you're traveling. If you're traveling for work, especially, uh, you can take your iPad with you and uh, have a second display there in your hotel room or wherever, and you don't have to take a big second monitor with you. Now the refresh rate isn't fantastic, even though it's going through that hardware. So if I just bring this across so you can kind of see, uh, let's do it like that. And then if I, yeah, I can chop the top here. You can see there's a bit of a lag between the two. So although, it is very handy, just be aware that there's a little bit of lag between the two screens. I think if you've got your work on one screen, like you've got Outlook open on one uh, and you've got your browser on the main screen, you're really not gonna notice. But yeah, as a secondary display, it's really good. Um, like I say, the, the adapter that I've got here is HDMI video capture card. I'll put the, uh, the link to this particular one in the description, um, but like I say, they're only 10 pounds. Uh, and these days, this one has a, a USB 3 output, um, but a lot of them do have USB-C now. So you can do without this adapter in between, which is really good. So I hope this video was useful. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.